Google has launched its own code editor called Anti-Gravity, which is similar to Cursor AI, VS Code and all other that are available. Mostly it is related to Windsor. Why? Because they the co-founders who made Windsor joined Google and they have built Anti-Gravity. That is why it looks almost similar to Windsor. Today we are going to test Anti-Gravity versus Cursor. Which one performs better with a prompt that we are going to work on it. Now this is the prompt which I have passed here for building a modern and clean e-commerce website for selling printed t-shirts. And this is the entire description which I have passed here. Whenever you're working with a code editor or in an integrated AI model, definitely you should give everything in detail so that it can prepare everything properly. Giving just a single line prompt won't help. Pass it in JSON format, YAML format is so quite in trending. So you can just pass all of it to actually build up a proper structure which the AI can understand very easily what you are going to build. That's what is very, very important. The requirement should be clear, absolutely clear. Make sure you do that. That is why this is my entire prompt which I have passed and I'm saying please build it with simple HTML, CSS, JS and use Tailwind CSS if required. Uh, but I have said like if there is no required, it should be used so that I can cater all of you. So even if you are a known coder, you can understand these things very easily because the code won't be a bit complex and we will have a better design to work with so let's go with it and i have selected here gemini 3 pro we have other models also available but i'm going to select it up and go ahead with it in our cursor i have passed the same prompt and here i'm just going to go for auto which is mostly going to use gpt 4.1 so let's go for it if you disable it up you have other options also available but they are paid models so i'm just directly going to go for the auto mode and let's try to build this up so i'll just hit enter in both the cases and let's see what it builds for us we'll wait for it to complete meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do it up hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you are looking for now anti gravity is asking me for the plan this is the planning it is being done um it is still thinking in anti-gravity you will be asked to like accept a lot of things uh, because it's going to take uh, your permission every time so that is why uh, be specific that you are indulge in it and um, accept everything whatever is it's asking so that if you don't if you want to change anything definitely you can say at that point of time but mostly you have to accept uh, whatever it says if you are just blindly going with it in this project i've given the prompt and i will go as it does later on i'm going to see what is the potential it has got so here accept is coming up i'm simply going to go for accept do it and go ahead with it well in anti-gravity is well it was building with react i don't want that so i'm just changing it again i'll say build with simple html uh, css javascript and tailwind css without any framework okay let's try it once again I don't want to use uh, React or any other platform as of now. And it is uh, giving a proper result in our uh, cursor. It's using simple HTML, CSS as of now and JavaScript files are available here. So which is quite good and it is already being generated. So we can simply test it out. I'll start off with live server and let's see. So I'll just hit enter and just check this out. It's giving us the design uh, not the images. Okay, I got the images also. That's great. Shop by category, oversized graphic, anime, minimal, custom, which is good actually. Uh, if I click on shop now, okay, I'm going directly to the categories. Okay, oversized. We have a proper website that is generated. Trust me, it's actually working nicely. Okay, great. I'm loving it. All right, all right. That's awesome. What about all navy? I'll just all okay great what about the pricing it's working it's working great if i apply the filters it's working what about the search uh what do i have greedy or oh, white so names are not that great but we can change it up let's go for gray if i search for it i'm getting the record which is good what about if i try to add to cart it's getting added if i go to cart i can see all the stuff my goodness it's good it's actually quite good 
What about account? We have it, my orders, but uh, the login is not there. That's one of the things which we can look into. Wish list, uh, if I go for home and if I click on the heard button, whether it will appear? Yes, it will. So only the account section is left, my orders. I don't have any option for login sign up. Apart from that, the website is almost ready. I can go ahead and launch it up. So this is quite cool. Uh, if I go for proceed to checkout, I can get to the payment page. That's great. Pass the shipping address and yes, everything is working fine. This is I think the dummy part possibly. So I'm happy with the design part. It's quite quick and we got the result. Meanwhile, after giving this particular data to our anti-gravity uh, to actually not go for react environment it's still not understanding and giving me the result once again possibly let's try it out i'll just close everything okay accept the changes this time i think it is giving me a uh, proper html and everything so i'll accept all the changes let's see what happens this time it's still thinking so we will wait for it to complete okay it's still generating and it is asking me to accept all i'll accept everything let's see whether it's it gets completed or not so it's taking long time but still I'll give it a little bit of more time and see what happens. Well, I think it's not generating anything else. So I think this is the only thing which we have here. So let's go for it index.html and I'm going to do what? So let me double click on it. And this is the design that it is giving us. And remember there is no JS file that it has generated. So only the design part is generated here. Even though the design part is not that great, I would say. Uh, if I go to shopping, I still have some filterations. Okay, working, great. All right, price range are not that good. Uh, we have some sorting also. It's working. Uh, what about, okay, if I get to this plus button, add it to cart. It is showing me the alert. Not that good. Uh, if I go to cart, now how this is working? Like if I just check the code here, Okay, in the assets, it is giving me the JS file. My goodness. So the JS file is there. I have the images here. No, no images are available within this or what? And what about the CSS? We have one CSS file, main.js file and product.js file, which is holding the entire array. So main.js file is the only one that is available where all the coding is being done. Apart from that, if we check it in our cursor, you can see everything is structured in a nice way. All the files are separated and it's way more structured. But coming back to the design part, the ultimate result matters. Coming to the design part, if I go to checkout, there is no, uh, um, there is no option to pass coupon. The design is not that bad, I would say, uh, after checking everything. If I go to, okay, payment option is also there, which is okay. Uh, but if you just check the, designs okay one by one just look at it it's not proper and here if you just check it out it is more in details okay you have more products that's okay product you can have it there also if you pass a bigger array or you can ask it for and you can ask for it but i would say the design lacks a bit uh here also the coloring is not that great i would say but at least for the modern design you can work on it and do something regarding that but here well, you have the search button, which is not working. The, what about the wish list? We do not have the option of passing a, a, a product in the wish list. Okay. But we have the button here. So I would say that the anti-gravity website is good minimalistic design. Um, you can just give some more prompts and get it ready to a great extent. Meanwhile, in our uh, cursor AI, in our cursor project, what we have to do is we have to play around with the coloring a bit. The theming is not that great. Apart from that, the functionality is quite good. It is giving me everything in one go. I'm not happy with the look, with the icons here available. Not at all good. But uh, apart from that, the functionality is quite good. So it is giving me a way much, much better design uh, in, in terms of the functionality, I would say. And the coloring is also okay, I would say, but it's not that great. Uh, so you can just play around with it. This is the entire thing which we have built with uh, anti-gravity and cursor AI. So let me know in the comment section, which one you liked. Personally saying this design is okay, but it is not complete. In our cursor AI, 
the design is complete and everything but the colors are not great so so you can just change the theme which is quite easy to do uh, regarding the anti gravity you have to work on it a bit more so this is the video guys let me know in the comment section how you like this particular video and for more such interesting videos also you can just comment me up and do watch all the other ai related videos that i have already made our new code launch which is on ai agentic system that is made with full stack you are not going to find this kind of course anywhere right now because everybody is going for no code but how to integrate it with our code with our full stack application nobody is teaching that up which is at most important because you need to use the power of ai in your full stack applications that is what i'm going to show you and we are going to implement everything that is available for making an ai agentic system like rag mcp all other things available there we are going to integrate all of it and we are going to make projects with it so everything will be taught practically and theoretically also to make you understand each and everything in a nice way so what are you waiting for the course will be launched very soon just check everything all the details are given in description you can simply check it out be the first mover so if you join the courses now you will get some gifts that i'm going to reveal when you join our community there you will find each and every details with that being said i'm going to wrap up for the day thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you next time